Hello folks and welcome to the channel or welcome back. And in this video we're not going to rebuild an engine, we are not going to work on cars as such, but I need to answer a few questions that I got from one of my subscribers. In fact, I even got an email. And this is all about vapor lock versus carburetor flooding. Those are two symptoms that you can have on your classic car or any car with a carburetor. The symptoms, initially, they look the same, but the causes are completely different. One of my subscribers had actually seen the vapor lock video and he questioned me what he should do to fix his problem because he had a vapor lock problem. At least that's what he thought. So we exchanged some mails back and forth and at the end it turned out that he didn't have a vapor lock problem, but actually he had a flooding problem on the carburetor. Now both are having the same symptoms. So even with a vapor lock, you can start well because the vapor lock typically occurs when the engine is hot. Flooding typically happens when the engine has been running for a while and the engine is hot. So in both circumstances, the engine is starting pretty well when it's cold. The same thing is true as well when the engine is hot and you turn it off and then you want to crank it up again. You stopped at a gas station, got your coffee, get back in your car and there's no way to get it started. If you wait long enough, well, the vapor lock will disappear and you can start. The same thing is true for the um, flooding. If you wait long enough, the gas will have evaporated out of the intake manifold because it's warm and you can actually start the car. The only difference that you will see with vapor lock is that at high refs, you might also have fuel starvation, whereby you don't have that problem typically with flooding. When you have flooding, you probably can drive at high RPMs. So what is the way now to uh, diagnose this and what are the causes and how do you fix it? Because flooding is something very dangerous on cars. Many cars have gone up in flames just because of the fuel dripping out of the carburetor, specifically with side draft carburetors that are just above the exhaust manifold. So if you will drip on the exhaust manifold and your air filter will caught fire and then it's too late. If you have flooding, fix it as soon as possible. And in this video, we will look at diagnosing flooding. In other words, how do you detect flooding? We're going to look at the causes of flooding. And there's about four main causes of that. And then finally, we're going to look on how you can fix it. But if you want to see all this, then you will have to wait a few more days because the video is about to come out. So stay tuned.